Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about quadratic function. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here a definition of quadratic function. Let me read this one. A quadratic function is a second degree polynomial represented as f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, or we can also represent it as y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c because we all know that f of x in function notation is equal to y. And then another thing na dapat yung matandaan about quadratic function is that your a should be not equal to 0. Kasi pag daging 0 si a, the function is a linear function. So again, where a is not equal to 0, where a and b a, B, and C are real numbers. So that's the definition or basic definition of quadratic function. Kasi pag first degree polynomial, alam natin ng first degree polynomial is a linear function. So bear in mind that when you saw a function that is a second degree polynomial, you need to think of it as a quadratic function. So another thing about quadratic function is that kailangan mo matandaan yung mga forms na meron tayo. The first one is yung ating tinatawag na standard form. Our standard form is represented by f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Or we can also represent it as y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Kasi alam naman natin that f of x is equal to y. Another thing na kailangan nyo matandaan about quadratic function is yung tinatawag natin vertex form. We have here f of x is equal to a times the quantity of x minus h squared plus k, wherein we can also write it using y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So, in the later part, latter part of our video, matatutunan nyo kung ano ba yung purpose ng standard form at ng vertex form natin. So another note about quadratic function is that you need to bear in mind that the graph the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. So in your grade 8 mathematics or in your previous function na linear, we can produce a straight line. But here, in quadratic function, ang graph nito is a parabola. Ito yung line na parang U-shape. Okay? Okay, so another thing about the quadratic function ay yung graph niya. It is a U-shaped line called the parabola. So right now, we will talk about the different parts of a parabola. So, ano ah, uh, you need to think two different types of parabola na may, meron kasi apat na parabola. Pero dalawa, dalawa lang sa apat na yun yung function. One is yung parang pa ganito, and the other is yung, yung ganito. So, later on, explain natin yan. So, what are the parts of the parabola? Basically, you need to know the first part na pwede kong sabihin sa inyo ay yung opening muna tayo. So, as you can see, yung arrows natin, ito, yung arrow heads natin, ay papunta sa taas. At itong part na to, ito yung tinatawag natin opening. Okay? Yung opening ng parabola. So, this is the opening of the parabola. So, kung mapansin nyo, yung opening natin, ang kanyang direction is upward. Ibig sabihin, the opening of the parabola is upward. Ito yung tinutukoy ko kanina. Yan yung first, part, first type ng ating parabola. And, pag na-encounter nyo naman yung gantong klase ng parabola, tingin kayo lahat dito, yung kanyang arrowheads ay pababa. Automatic, yung direction ng opening ng parabola is downwards. Okay? First, we have the opening of the parabola. Importante yan. Na malaman natin kung saan nag-open yung parabola. And then the next one, as yung tinatawag natin, ito ah, may tin meron tayong tinatawag na vertex. Ligay natin dito yung ano, vertex. Para sa akin, yung vertex, siya yung pinaka, uh, siya yung lowest point. Or, yun siya yung kinukonsider bilang highest point of the parabola. 
since yung ating parabola opens upward, automatic, your vertex is considered as the lowest point of the parabola. Sir, but if naman kapag yung, ano, kapag yung parabola na natin it opens downward, automatic, your vertex is the highest point or siya yung peak ng parabola. Another thing na kailangan nyo matandaan about the parabola is yung tinatawag nating axis of symmetry. So, dito, sa graph natin, since yung ating y-axis, at yung ating y-axis, ay nasa gitna ng parabola, that is considered as the axis of symmetry. So, pero, magdodawa pa rin ako ng broken line. So, usually, yung ating axis of symmetry ay naka-broken line. Doon lang tayo. Again, ha? In this parabola, yung ating axis of symmetry ay yung y-axis. Axis of symmetry. Okay? Now, ano ba yung purpose ng axis of symmetry? Para sa akin, ha? Ito yung nag-divide sa parabola at ito yung nag-create ng mirror, mirror effect. Okay? Pero, ano, para ma-imagine nyo yung ibig sabihin ng axis of symmetry, try to imagine yung dahon ng mga halaman. Di ba meron, parang, meron siyang parang line doon na kung saan siya yung nagpapakita ng, ng symmetry ng dalawang ng leaves, ng, ng isang leaf, para magmukha siyang may mirror effect. Yun yung purpose ng isang axis of symmetry. Now, so, sa ating mga... Next videos, ma-encounter nyo pa ibang parts ng parabola na importante. Ano pa bang pwede dito na nating magkawa dito? So, we can say that ito yung ating parabola. Again, review lang muna natin ha. We have two different uh, openings of parabola na pasok sa quadratic function. One is, one opens, the other one is open upward, tapos yung isa naman ay downward. Tandaan nyo yan, ha? Now, for this part of our video, ang isipin naman natin, paano natin ma-identify whether the given representation of a function is a quadratic function? Kasi uh, we have three different ways on how to represent a function. One is by equation. Ito yung mga yun. Representation niya. One is yung tinatawag natin table of values. At yung pangatlong type ng representation ng isang function ay by graph o yung line. So let's start. At tuturo ko sa inyo yung way para, para natin ma-identify whether the given representation is a quadratic function or not. Una, let's have here number 1. f of x is equal to 6x minus 11. So basically, tatandaan nyo ngayon yung definition ng isang quadratic function. Di ba sabi doon, second degree polynomial. But here, in our function, the degree of this polynomial is 1. Okay. Or in other words, the highest exponent of the variable, x, is 1. Meaning, this one is not a quadratic function. Kasi nga, ang ating quadratic function is a second degree polynomial. So, eh sir, if yan ay merong 1 as the degree of polynomial, anong tawag sa function na yan? Ito ay hindi function, a quadratic function. This one is merely a linear function. Okay? Linear function yan. Now, let's move on to item number 2. We have f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 7. So, analyze natin mabuti ha. Look at the exponent or the highest exponent of the variable x. This one is 2. 2 ang kanyang highest exponent. Meaning, the degree of this polynomial function is 2. So, ito yung tinatawag natin quadratic function. Okay ba yan? So, yan yung ating quadratic function kasi yung kanyang degree o yung highest exponent ng variable is 2. Now, let's move on with the third one. Kung hapansin nyo, um, sa lahat ng function, yung table of values sa medyo mahirap, i-check whether it is quadratic function. Now, sir, paano ba ginagawa? Mag-focus tayo ngayon sa output o yung sa y values natin. Ito yung ating mga y values. Una, tanda mabuti at ituturo ko sa inyo ha. Una, kunin nyo muna yung first differences ng mga 
y values. So, paano ba ginagawa yan? First difference, first differences tayo. So, sir, paano kinukuha yung first differences? Kunin mo yung 0, minus 1. Subtract mo yung 0 at 1. That's equal to negative 1. And after that, kunin mo dito negative 1. And then, kunin mo dito yung difference ng 3 sa 0. So, you have 3 minus 0. Pag sinolve mo yan, that is 3. Lagay mo dito 3. Tapos, kunin mo yung 10 saka 3. Subtract mo yan, 10 minus 3. That is 7. Lagay mo dito 7. Next, 21 minus 10. So, we have 21 minus 10. So, that is 11. Followed by 36 minus 21. 36 minus 21 to give you 15. So, 15 tayo. Itong mga numbers na to, these are your first differences. Pero hindi pa tayo nagtatapos kasi kapag quadratic function, kailangan mong kunin yung second differences. As you can see, yung ating first differences ay magkakaiba. But, kapag kinuha mo yung second differences at naging pare-parehas yung sagot mo, automatic, that table of values represents a function. Sir, paano ba kikunin yun? So, meron tayong mga first differences. Ito yung isa-subtract mo ngayon. So, let's subtract 3 and negative 1. So, that is 3 minus negative 1. So, kapag sinubtract nyo yan, that is 4, positive 4. So, 4 dito lalagay natin. Followed by 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3. That will be 4. So, kung mapansin nyo, parehas na. Pero huwag, nyo, huwag kayo mag agad mag-assume na siya isang quadratic function na kasi dapat lahat. Okay? Followed by 11 minus 7. So you have 4. So sir, pare-parehas na. Meron pang isa. Hintay lang natin. So you have 15 minus 11. So that is 4. So since lahat ng ating second differences ay equal kay 4, automatic, this table of values represent a quadratic function. Okay? So, I hope na sa item number 3 natin ay natutunan nyo kung paano malaman yung isang table of values kung siya ba talaga ay nag-represent ay isang quadratic function. So, let's move on with item number 4 and number 5. Ito naman yung mas madadaling mga way kung paano malaman whether siya isang quadratic function. So, in number 4, as you can see, that is a straight line. So, basically, kung may knowledge kayo about a linear function, alam natin na ang isang graph ng linear function is a straight line. So basically, this one is a linear function. So, in other words, that is not quadratic. Tama? Okay. So, another thing, number 5, let's move on to the last item. This one is a quadratic function. Sir, bakit po siya quadratic function? Remember, meron tayong dalawang klase ng quadratic function na ang, yung pangalawa ang kanyang opening is downward. So, automatic. U-shape siya, ba? So, yun ay isang example ng quadratic function. Pero, ang opening niya is downwards. So, I hope na sa ating video tutorial, tutorial natutunan niyo yung definition ng quadratic function yung different forms ng quadratic function yung parts ng graph ng quadratic function which is parabola at yung different ways on how to identify whether the representation of a function is quadratic or not so again kung bago ka lang sa youtube channel ko don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell, bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads again I'm teacher gone Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!